guys, so it is that time of the month again when I get all nostalgic about the month and tell you all what I have been loving for the month of April. As you can tell, I'm feeling quite spring-like, and I have been feeling quite spring-like all month long because we've had actually okay weather for a lot of it, and I've also been travelling so I have seen a little bit of sunshine and I get very overexcited about that. I don't know what I'm waffling on about, I'm going to tell you about my monthly favourites, and I'm going to start with a makeup bag, not the actual makeup because, you know, it's just right there. This is my new makeup bag from Betsy Johnson. I picked it up from TK Maxx for £9.99 and I just love it. Something about it screamed my name. It's cream, it has like quilted hearts on it and then it has a black patent underneath which I like because it's wipeable. Well the whole thing is wipeable because it's like fake leather. Um, and then it has a pink heart shaped jewel um, on the zipper and what I love about this is that it is really square so you can fit so much stuff in it. I've come away for just exactly a week actually um, in total and I fitted all of my makeup that I need for the week in this. It looks small but it is deceptively large so if you are a TK Maxx fan I would definitely recommend keeping your eyes open for this makeup bag in TK Maxx because I think it's great. Moving on to what is actually inside my makeup bag that I've been loving this month. The first thing is a palette from Too Faced. I haven't really tried much Too Faced um, makeup before but I absolutely love this. I've been using it pretty much every day for the last three weeks or so. Um, it has four nude matte shades and then four nude shimmery shades and they're all just so wearable and I love that it has, it goes down to like a really dark shade, it goes up to a really light shade. All of the shimmers are like really lovely, they're not too glittery, they're very very wearable. It has a nice big mirror and it's actually a tin packaging which I really like as well. So I would definitely recommend checking this out, the Natural Eyes palette from Too Faced. I like it a lot. Another product that I've been loving on the eye front is from L'Oreal Paris and it's the Magic Decrease Eye Primer. I have lost my Urban Decay um, Primer Potion eye primer somewhere. I'm sure I will find it, it's probably just in a makeup bag or a drawer in my house. But our house is like absolute chaos at the moment because we're having work done and so I kind of rediscovered this. I got it I think back in October, maybe it was before that actually, um, when I was in LA my friend Tati and I reviewed it over on her channel and it's really really similar, it's like almost an exact drugstore dupe for the Urban Decay one, it's really really good and I have been loving it this month, especially when using it with my Too Faced palette. Good combination. I've also made a bit of a rediscovery this month of my Soap & Glory Kick-Ass Concealer. I love this, especially for in your handbag or for travelling because it has a translucent powder, it has a mirror and then it has two shades of concealer. I really really like this and what I love about this as well is that using it in the winter it gets a little hard so I didn't really enjoy it as much, whereas in the summer months it kind of is a little warmer and easier to use and it kind of melts into your skin a bit better. I know you can obviously warm it between your fingers or whatever but it just works really really nicely in the warmer months or if you just don't live in England and it's nice all the time where you live, um, it's probably going to be good all the time but I do like this a lot and I think it is really good value for money and it has stars on the packaging and I could not ask for any more. Um, it's also an amazing dupe for the Laura Mercier Undercover Pot as well. It has the powder and the two different tone concealers, so I like that a lot. And then I have two complexion items, or cheek items. I don't actually have any lip products this month, um, but I do have two things for your cheeks. The first one is one of the Hourglass Ambient Lighting Blushes, and this is in Mood Exposure. I feel like I've spoken about this in a video before, and I checked my last month's monthly favourites, and it doesn't seem to be in there, so if I'm repeating myself about this product, then I do apologise, um, but it is really just wonderful, and it's been pretty much one of the only blushes I've been using for the last month or so. I really really love it. It's kind of foolproof to use. It's not overly pigmented but it's just really glowy. I really like this. It's one of the more natural tones in the collection and I definitely want to try more because it's wonderful. Um, another product that I picked up at the same time as that from Space NK is the Kevin Aquan um, Celestial Powder in Candlelight. Everyone has spoken about this and I've resisted buying it for a really long time because of that. Um, sometimes when products are really overhyped I get a little like annoyed. I'm like, I really want to try it, but I don't want to try it because everyone talks about it. Um, but this stuff is actually amazing. It's by far the best highlighter I think I've ever used. It's just so subtle and so glowy and lovely and I love to use it on my eyes as well. It is delightful and the packaging is super, super cute too. It's just teeny tiny and perfect. Last but not least, this is going to be quite a short monthly favourites this month, but I 
am super super excited for these last item or this last thing that I'm going to show you. It's a fashion favourite and it is these shorts. Now these are a little creased because I've actually been wearing them today. I got these from River Island um, just over a week ago and I just absolutely love them. They are these daisy shorts. These are cut really nicely as well, they're very high waisted, but they are quite loose fitting, they're very flattering, they're not too short. I was really scared about wearing shorts for a really long time because um, I really don't like the hot pants style shorts that are, you know what I mean when they're too short and your butt cheeks are hanging out. Um, it's just not a good look for me because, you know, I don't want anyone seeing, everyone seeing my bum. It's not that nice a bum. I mean, some people it looks good on, but not me. So, um, I really, really love these and I think they are an awesome choice for spring and summer too. I just think they're really lovely. And that is it for my monthly favourites. Short and sweet this month. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you again very soon in my next video. Bye guys! Hey guys! So today I am joined by my beautiful friend Estee from Essie Button. If you guys, Hi. you guys know who she is, right? If you don't.